What is the real world range of the Volvo EX40? My name is Bastian and welcome to Electric on Wheels. The EX40 that is standing here is the extended range single motor version. That one has a WLTP range of around 570 kilometers. Will I be able to reach that? Well, I can answer that for you. No, I will not. You want to know why? First of all, it is a Volvo and they are not that efficient. And two, it is autumn. During my test, it will be around 11 degrees Celsius. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I will not be able to reach the 570 kilometers. But let's see what I can do. So how will I do the test? Well, I will do one test at 100 kilometers per hour. And during that test, I will also calculate how much energy I can get out of the battery. Then I will do one consumption run at 90 kilometers per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions. And one test at 130 kilometers per hour. Take the amount of energy I can get out of the battery, divide it by the consumption, and boom, you have your range. So, let's go. The sun is shining, it is 15 degrees Celsius. It's actually a very nice day for late October. Very nice day. And yes, 15 degrees Celsius. I said during my intro that it would be around 10 to 11 degrees Celsius during my range tests. But my plan has changed. Why? With a baby, you cannot plan. That's just the thing. I planned to do this range test a few hours sooner, so in the early morning. But again, plan changed and therefore I'm doing it now. It is warmer, so that means the car is more efficient than it would have been a few hours ago. The car has used 10% state of charge. On that 10% I have driven around 45 to 47 kilometers. And the average consumption is 18.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So taking these numbers would mean that I get a range of around 470 kilometers while driving. Sorry, I had to cough, I have a bit of a cold, but would mean a range of around 470 kilometers while driving this speed. Although I have to say, I have tailwind at the moment, although there is barely any wind today. So when I turn around, I have headwind, so the consumption might go up a little. I don't understand what's happening. The wind should come from the southeast. I am driving to the east, but my consumption is going down. Strange things are happening, strange things. But anyway, the car has used 33% state of charge and on that 33% I have driven around 150 kilometers. So the range it seems like right now is 450 kilometers. The average consumption at the moment is 17.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is Okay, we all know Volvos are not the most efficient and this result again is also not the most efficient result. Our own Kia e Niro will probably do in these conditions, 17 degrees Celsius, sun, barely any wind, 15 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So yeah, it is what it is. I try to keep my average speed at 100 kilometers per hour, but sometimes that is a bit tricky because it is the Friday before a holiday. So it is already pretty busy on the road. That is also the reason why I am driving 105 at the moment, because I drove a little bit slower because of traffic jam. I will do my 90 test after this. I did my 130 kilometers per hour test on a different evening, and then I give you the result. I'm currently doing my 90 kilometers per hour consumption run. It is even warmer now, 19 degrees Celsius, still sun, no wind. It is such a lovely day, such a lovely day. Perfect conditions really for a range test, this. So you are very lucky, Volvo EX90, uh, 40, not the 90, the 40. The average consumption at the moment is 14.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I will probably end up somewhere around there because it is hovering all the time around that 15 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers in perfect conditions. So now you will see my 130 kilometers per hour test and then the result. Okay, I am on the left lane now, so that means I am doing my 130 km per hour consumption run. Same thing applies as with the 90 km per hour test and my average consumption at the moment. There is someone on my bumper. Wow. Anyway, uh, where was I? I always hate it when I drive around 1 to 2 km faster than the cars that I am overtaking during my range test because I want to keep a constant speed for a better result. Why are you at my bumper if you have to go here to the right anyway? Jeez. 
Anyway, the average consumption is 28 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, 27.9 actually. So yeah, this car is quite thirsty. It is quite thirsty. It's just the way it is while driving an electric Volvo. I'm sorry. But it is a nice car to drive though at these kind of speeds. Nice seats, comfortable and quiet. A really nice highway cruiser. Why are you driving faster than me now suddenly? I don't get those people. Anyway, I am going to my starting point and then you get the result. All right, the result of the range test. First of all, my 100 kilometers per hour test. I started the test with 77%. I stopped that test with 30%, so that means I've used 47%. On that 47%, I have driven 206.8 kilometers. So you can drive 440 kilometers while driving 100 kilometers per hour. When it is 16 degrees Celsius, there is sun and there is basically no wind. So pretty good conditions, if you ask me. The average consumption was 17.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So calculating all these numbers, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. And I could get 78.5 kilowatt hours out of the battery, which is really good because Volvo claims it has 79 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. So 78.5, having some heat loss and stuff. Yeah, 79 basically. Really good Volvo, really good. Then the 90 kilometers per hour test, because this car should have a WLTP range of around 570 kilometers. During my 90 test, I had an average consumption of 14.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. It was 19 degrees Celsius, still sun, still no wind. So perfect conditions, if you ask me, cannot get any better than that. So 14.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers means a range of 530 kilometers. So not the WLTP range. No, I think you can get the WLTP range in somewhere when you drive on B roads and in the city. So you do not drive faster than 80 kilometers per hour. But when driving on the highway with proper highway speed, so 100 kilometers per hour or more, you can forget it. Even in summer, it's not possible, not possible. At least that's what I think. Prove me wrong. Then my 130 kilometers per hour test, because I did that in the evening, it was a lot colder, 11 degrees Celsius. And during that test, I had an average consumption of 28.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that means a range of 279 kilometers while driving 130 kilometers per hour, which is kind of thirsty to be honest again this car is kind of thirsty on highway speeds it's not that efficient on highway speeds but if you drive 130 kilometers per hour when it is a bit warmer so also around 20 degrees celsius i do expect that you can get more than 300 kilometers of range probably 310 320 something like that all right that was actually already the result and the end of the range test I hope you liked it. Thank you a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And well, then as always, to be continued.